hi everyone welcome back to hotline topics you're back just in where i'm sure of her husband you about to call her earlier jamie and their son as they have a good time and bond in their home. So, Abraham and Kola Wale Ajemi son Wilua is surely growing up gracefully. It was just recently that when Abraham opened up, it was at the time she gave birth to Wilua that she filmed the movie Fate of Alakada. And that made it challenging. It was really an emotional and stressful moment for her. At that time, Tony was way down, heavy with pregnancy fat, and of course, still breastfeeding Wilua. She was sluggish and trying to get her groove back. Sometimes her husband helps out by bringing the Wilua to the location to be breastfed. And generally, to Ibra myself was just coming back into herself acting wise. Many times she wanted to break down, but then thanks to the support system she had. And she also used this to advise people on post birth experience that this is never easy on women. So people around new mothers should learn how to make life easier for them. It is easy for new mothers to experience depression if they lack enough love. But then that didn't happen to Twain Abraham because she had enough support system. Her husband was there, her team was there, and of course there was also a medical practitioner on ground. And just at the age of one, Iriluwa is already a CEO. This was announced by his mother and his father on the social media platforms. Iriluwa is starting a business and this business is educational, interesting and addictive. And of course, Twain Abraham also has her own Thriving businesses. She's the CEO of Plusher by Toyin, Tokitilo by Toyin, Body Talk by Toyin, and Toyin Herbal. She's doing incredibly well for herself. And she is also a brand ambassador to several reputable brands. She's a brand ambassador to a food company, real estate company, and many others. And also, Toyin Herbal's movie, Fate of Alakada, is officially the highest grossing movie post COVID. It was made Officially, number one movie in all cinemas nationwide. Twain shared this on her social media platform yesterday. She said the turnout has been overwhelming. I'm super grateful for the patronage of Fate of Alakada. The figures so far have been very good. I'm grateful to everyone that has been part of the success story of Fate of Alakada so far. You have made my year. To my colleagues that have turned out in numbers to support me. And this is in my son. You guys have been good. And to those who couldn't make it, I understand we are all trying to survive and make ends meet. And those I didn't reach out to, I'm only trying not to overburden you with more obligations in this post-COVID era. I know everybody's busy and still go. Fate of Alakada is officially number one movie in all cinemas nationwide. Well, Fate of Alakada is showing in all cinemas in Nigeria and it started showing from October 1. Before then, there were some negative reports circulating on social media platforms. However, contrary to expectations and forecasts, sources from Film Home Entertainment have estimated the Independence Day gross opening of the film to be amongst the top five figures for a Nollywood opening since 2018. This means that Fate of Alakada made over 10 million naira on its first day of release. Other movies on this pedestal since 2018 include Merry Men, Chief Daddy, Merry Men, The Real Yobadimons, and Sugar Rush. So it has gone ahead to be the highest opening in the post-lockdown period, with just one day of release, displacing films such as Mulan and Tenet, which are in their second week. And to Abraham said, Dear critics slash reviewers, thank you so much for buying a ticket to see my film. For whatever reason, I appreciate. I like that series has never pretended to be what it is not. It was born out of pure comedy and a stab at societal issues. Was there a storyline? I like to think so. I never promised anything more than a laugh. If you expected more, I'm sorry, but all movies don't appeal to all. This, I worked to stay true to my fans. Just come and laugh. Rest your mind and laugh at us and with us. The world is tough enough. Em had been, it is not that serious. Fate of Alakada is still in cinemas and I'm coming. Well, congratulations once again to Twain Abraham on our new movie, Fate of Alakada, being the number one movie in all cinemas nationwide. It was just recently that Tony Abraham and her husband spoke on the institution of marriage. As mentioned earlier, Tony Abraham is married to the Yoruba actor Kolawale Ajayemi. And Kolawale Ajayemi said that a lot of people these days don't stick to their partner in the institution of marriage these days. That any little problem they want to pull out. This is not how things are supposed to be. You're supposed to be committed to your partner 
and stay true to each other no matter what. Be together to weather the storm. And also in a video shared on Tony's YouTube channel, which was monitored by Saturday Beat, Jalaka Dasta noted that marriage had no manual. She also added that what worked for a person might not work for another person. As she said, she wants everyone to know that there is no manner for marriage and we are not going to get married to the same man. And even if we get married to the same person, we don't have the same attitude. Marriage counselors will only tell you the things necessary in life. We must be patient. That her husband is caller, but then she cannot tell you how to live with your own man. Someone that she has not lived with. Even a man that marries more than one wife would not treat them all equally. The way the wives relate to their husband would also be different. So she cannot really tell you about marriage. But the two things she can say that will help anyone in marriage or in any other relationship right now is that Number one, you have to be patient. You need to be patient because sometimes husbands can be annoying. So to stay married, your patience must be top notch. Secondly, you have to respect your man. She's an African woman and she's also educated though she might not be as learned as some people you have to respect your man and lastly your marriage has to come first these are the things that are important even while relating with other people she usually tells people that marriage is very sensitive sometimes when marriages crash and people advise the couple to move on they think it is very easy to move on you think it is easy marriage is deeper than what a lot of people out there think you need to be submissive you need to respect your husband and your marriage has to come first. Of course, Tony Abraham also noted that she cannot really say much about marriage because she does not have a manual, because it does not come with a manual and she might marry a particular man and he might behave badly to her and another person could marry that same man and it might be good to her. Plus the fact that Tony is still young in marriage but then what has been working for her is that she respects and honor her husband. And of course, puts her marriage first in everything she does. Tony also has a daughter, Kolawalia JME's teenage daughter, whom Tony has embraced as her own very daughter, as if she was her own biological daughter. These two virtually celebrate each other on their social media platforms. They flaunt each other and they have quite an enviable relationship. Just some days ago, they went out on a spa date. And Tony Abram also announced the launching of her daughter's modeling career so officially to meet up with jme has become a commercial model she's now a professional model ready to take on the world and to meet up has also been showing love to her mom on her social media platform posting everything on fate of alakara since the cinemas that it to be showing in the time it to be shown and several things on her social media platform these two do have a unique bond People have commented that stepmothers should learn from this. So all in all, this family is a beautiful one that share an amazing bond. They all flaunt each other and obviously love each other. We have come to the end of this episode. We hope you enjoyed it and let's on the two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.